Good evening. This is the Late Report. Well, a polar bear cub discovered under a house in Alaska will go to Tacoma's Point Defiance Zoo. First, however, the cub will spend six months at Tacoma's B&I store being poked at by crabby middle-aged people. Well, restaurateur Stuart Anderson will be the guest of honor at a celebration of Western art this weekend at the Taiyi Hotel in Olympia. Anderson, an avid collector, plans to display several of his rarest and most valuable pieces all with a choice of soup, salad, or baked potato. <laughs> the newly expanded Children's Museum includes a talking toilet that tells children to wash their hands after going to the bathroom. After a few embarrassing moments this first weekend, museum officials are planning to change the message to be sure to wash your hands in the sink after going <laughs> to the bathroom. Well, O.J. Simpson has vowed to spend the rest of his life searching for the real killer of Nicole Simpson and Ronald Goldman. Based on newly acquired evidence, police have come up with a sketch of the current suspect and are currently searching for this man. <laughs> right, we wish them well. A group of Seattle architects is pushing for an open-air stadium north of the kingdom. The Mariners say that if the stadium doesn't have a retractable roof, they want it east of the kingdom, somewhere in Virginia or Florida. <laughs> well, branding body parts with red hot steel is gaining popularity in the Seattle area. Other popular fads including poking steel dowels through your brain and chewing off your own feet. <laughs> A Vancouver, Washington man has been charged with placing cleaning fluid in root beer so he could sue Henry Weinhardt's. Weinhardt officials said that they were very worried because the new concoction tasted just like Zima. <laughs> well, Mariner fever is in the air, and as many of you folks out there know, baseball announcers all have their catchphrases, or what they call their home run call. For example, you've heard Dave Niehaus say, It will fly, fly away, and my, oh my! Well, the man responsible for those catchphrases is here with us today. His name is Ethan Atkins, and he is known as the king of catchphrases. Thank you for joining us. Uh, oh, you're Atkins. welcome. Now, somebody told me that actually you are, are responsible for Dave Niehaus's my, oh, my. Is that right? Well, actually, I came up with, oh, my, oh. He oh. just uh, switched it around and got out of paying me royalties. I see. Now, do you have uh, some other phrases that you're working on that you could tell us about? As a matter of fact, I do. Mm -hmm. All right, here's one. That ball could be a nice souvenir, or it could kill someone. <laughs> or how about strike three? Just kidding. <laughs> Here's one for the 30-something uh, crowd. Okay. My name is Luca, and that ball lives on the second level. Uh -huh. <laughs> or, uh -huh. what a powerful bunt. Uh -huh. And the fat lady has swung. <laughs> and, ooh. Now, I'm sorry, what, what was that one again? Ooh. So you wrote that. It's hard to believe that no one has uh, actually thought of that on their own. That's right. It's mine. <clears throat> oh, okay. Now, this is the first one I ever came up with. The ball has been hit, and it's a home run. <laughs> All right? Here's one. Grab your bathing suits, kids, because we're going swimming. I don't quite get that one. Ah, this one's for the kids now. Ground control to Major Tom. Commencing countdown. <laughs> that ball is gone. Uh-huh. And, uh, I also like, that pitcher sucks. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, we've got time for just one more, all right, please. All one right, more. All right, all right. This is my personal favorite. So long, farewell, I'll be to saying goodbye, adieu, adieu. Okay, you, Ethan you, Atkins, you. the king of catchphrases. Ethan, the interview's over now. The family Put a sock in it! <laughs> Finally, Microsoft is preparing a facelift for their Bob program in hopes of increasing sales. In order to ensure this, they will be re-releasing the program under the new name, Microsoft Brad. This has been The Late Report. We're coming right back, so stay where you are.